What is up everyone? How you doing? So today we're gonna do one of my favorite things in the world and that is buy some wheels. So I actually got reached out to by Kruber.com to put together a video to show you guys what they have to offer. If you guys don't know what Kruber.com is, Kruber.com is actually the website that you can go on and buy parts directly from UpGarage in Japan and get them shipped directly to your doorstep, which is pretty insane. UpGarage is Japan's number one used car part dealer in Japan. So they have anything you can ever imagine from wheels, intakes, seats, exhausts, anything, and their inventory is massive. So let's just hop right into it, check it out, and I'm really excited to see what they have. All right, so let's get to work. So let's put this in English so we can understand this, and uh, let's do some shopping. As you can see, we have a bunch of parts just thrown at us, and I don't even know where to begin. So we came here for wheels, so let's look for some wheels. <laughs> Let's just check out what they got for 17. Some nice 240SX stock fitment. We'll go 8.5 to. Screw it, let's go to 10.5. Offsets. We'll try them all. Oh, wow. We got five pages of anything in these dimensions. Let's check it out. So it looks like we got some pretty solid sets right on the first page. I mean, we have Volk Rays, we got some Weds, we got some CR Kai's. Some more CR Kai's, some BBS LM's. Wow. Look how clean these things are. Some more TEs, a bunch of R33 wheels. That's awesome. I want to buy every single set on here. Some buddy, wow, the selection is honestly amazing. So what I've noticed with a lot of like wheel import companies especially is they tend to just grab whatever wheels they could find and throw them on their website. And it looks like they're actually going through and picking out some pretty quality wheels because all I see is some pretty badass sets of wheels on here. Oh my God, there's no way there's Corvette saw blades on here. That is amazing. So it looks like there's basically a set of wheels on here for anyone. I mean, wheels of every width, offset, shape, form, and color, and honestly, just any price range, which is really cool. I mean, look at this. We have we have a set of R33 wheels right here for $240. That's crazy. You know how much those would go for in the States? All right, guys, so I'm not going to lie. I spent a lot of time on here earlier. You could spend hours on here. It's ridiculous. And uh, I already picked out the wheels that I want to get. So... We're going to leave that a surprise, but I'm just going to show you the whole checkout process so you guys get an idea for it. Is this really a set for $110? There's no way. Look at that. You guys can get some baller three-piece wheels for $110. Maybe I'll get these too. All right, let's try it out. Wide them to the cart. Check it out. We're gonna skip this one so you guys don't see my information. $110 wheels, get these things shipped to my doorstep in my town, in America, all the way on the other side of the country is $340. We'll get those in about a week, which is crazy. Get the tires removed. Are you kidding me? $336 shipped to your doorstep. That's crazy. There we go. All right, guys, I think I showed you enough. Before I start spending way too much money, I gotta get off this website. But there it is, that's Kruber.com. Go on there and have a blast. But we'll see you guys in a few days. Several days later. <laughs> yeah, they're here. Oh my God. <laughs> Open this thing up. Open it up, Jimmy. All right, guys, so a few days later, this only took like Four days to come in, which is crazy. This that's came from some, across the world. That's some good service. Did I even show you guys what the wheels were? 52 no. kilograms here. Yeah, man, I was, I seen them. I okay. seen them. Not me. All right, who wants to do the honors? We need a, a we knife or a, a, like a beaver. No, we You don't. have a pet beaver? Oh, no, no. <laughs> My God. Okay, we'll pull them off. Yeah. Get this out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cool. You like them? Yeah. Look how clean they are, too. Yeah, these are actually a lot nicer than I thought they were going to be. Ooh. 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 Shining like wet diamonds. Ah, uh, those are sick. Yo, they definitely clean these up for me. Yeah, no, I, uh, I remember when you bought them. I didn't think they were this nice. These are. 
That's a, always a, a happy surprise, right? Yeah, right? These are awesome. So get some light on. Come on, reflect it real nice. Oof. So here it is, in less than a week, I have wheels from across the country, and I couldn't be more excited. They showed up super fast, no issues, and honestly, they're in way better condition than I thought they would be. So, right here we have our SSR Minervas, one of my favorite wheels of all time, just super hard to find, and uh, now they're here. So, I'm pumped because these are the original specs of these wheels. Now, it's really, really hard to find a set of wheels that have an already desirable width, and offset, pre-made, already ready to go. Usually you have to buy them with a low, uh, higher offset and a lower width and then rebuild them from there. But with this, I have 18 by nine and a half plus 30 in the front and 18 by 10 plus 24 in the rear. And they both have giant flat lips and they'll fit a wide range of vehicles. It's very aggressive and it's also very conservative at the same time. So I didn't mention what car these are for yet, um, but realistically with these specs, they'll fit any one of my Nissans from my black seat to my red seat to my 240. The one I've been dying to test fit these on right now is the 240, just because, I mean, you guys know. These are super low disc, which means that the where the hub actually bolts to, uh, it's very close to the face of the wheel, so you gotta be really worry about uh, your calipers hitting here. Um, I know these won't fit straight up with because I have my secondary caliper for my hydro hydraulic e-brake. Uh, if I didn't have this, then it'd be fine and it would bolt right to it, and it would probably fit stock body no problem. But we're gonna have to run some spacers because this is gonna hit. Nice work. Drop it like a boy, come on. That's it, that's it, we're that's down. That's it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dude, that looks so sick. That does look nasty, Dang, oh my please. god. This car is gonna look so sick. I'm so glad you got four of them. I'm so pumped about this. Yo, RIP uh, to the Blitz. The, Min <laughs> the Minervas are in the house. In the house. Oh my All god. All right, so, if I had to run a spacer, these would fit stock body so well. Like without the spacer, it'd be sitting lit. Um, I can still rock these with a stretch tire, or we can go for some other means and really make these fit. Let's try the fronts on. I don't know if we need a spacer with these, uh, only reason, yeah, we do. So these are also low disc, which helps explain the, uh, the lower offset on them. And since I do have Z32 calipers in the front, they're big and bulky and they stick out and they make any wheel hard to fit. So hell, stack them up. We got them. Unfortunately, I still have stock studs in the front, which I actually just ordered extended like literally two nights ago. And uh, we don't have enough to get a lug nut on there. So we can't put the weight on it. Let's go find some bolt on spacers. I come with gifts. Thanks, man. Got you. What do you think of the drip? Oh my god, I totally forgot about these. 100% forgot about these. Sheesh! <laughs> not, bad. not bad, right? Those look awesome. The, like, these are me and Jimmy's like top three or five favorite wheels. Definitely, like, love Minerva's. Ooh. All right, B, do the honors. Let's see what we got here. I'm so excited. Drop it hard. Ooh. 
actually fits better than I thought it would. Dude, this looks so good. Dude, that might clear now. Now with a good tire on it. Just with a Stancy Boy tire. Well, a Stancy Boy. But we're trying to grip this thing up. A lot. So I think, no, I don't think, I know. Operation Make the S13 Kick Ass Again starts now. It starts now. Starts now. Some wide boys. What are we going to do, Jimmy? We're going to grip this thing up. We're going to make them fit. Now, how are we going to do that? You know. The S chassis way, boys. You know what we're talking about. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I would kill to just put stretch tires and drive around like this, but the car would be useless. Useless is pretty. Useless would be pretty with these wheels on it. Beauty hurts, man. It does. Do we test them on the Red Z? No. 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 I disagree. Do not touch the Red Z. That's right. That car's done. All right, man. It needs nitrous, but it looks yeah, it, the no, looks yeah, like right. done. Jeez, okay, cool. I'll yeah. just I'll, I'll go over there then. Start the B-roll. RJ, you need some wheels for Miata. I know they got plenty. My wheels are perfectly fine the uh, way they are. RJ has horrible taste. Everyone, guys, yeah, click in the link in the description and find some wheels that look good on RJ's Miata and DM it to him on Instagram. No, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Hands all those DMs. RJ's that? crying. Right? <laughs> Quit your crying. I'm guys, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly anticipated putting these on a Black Z. Well, you anticipated wrong, fool. Um. These were 110% supposed to go on the Black Z. So I kind of played myself by putting them on here. They belong on this car. Yeah. Black Z looks cool. I don't know. Screw it. I'll go back to Kruber and get some more wheels, right? Why not? See, that's what I love about the Japanese wheels is they honestly hold their value so well. Yeah, honestly, I've always said that about three-piece wheels in general. Like, and plus, like any any of the stuff that you're gonna buy that's like 15 years or older, it's already reached its max. Like, it's already gonna be as cheap as it's gonna be. When you buy it, you'll probably be able to sell it for the same amount, you know? Which is like a huge plus because, I mean, you got you guys know how it is. You always want to, you know, maybe a few years trade up, you know, trade straight out or just get something new. So even and sometimes, yeah, exactly. Sometimes you could trade up, and that's even better, right? I don't know, man. They look pretty good on here. We gotta do an update on this car. People have been asking bad. I was actually like scrolling through my photos last night. My phone just, you know, having like a sad boy night, just, you know, kind of past photos mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw more photos of Black Z and I'm just like, what is going on with my life, man? I know, we still haven't painted the side skirts, haven't painted the 99 front bumper. We'll give you guys an update on the Black Z really, really soon. This car doesn't have an ECU anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a shame because this car is beautiful. We'll talk about it soon. It, yeah, get some better wheels for it. it deserves, RJ, go home! No. I've never heard Jimmy yell. I get my mail sent here. You made Jimmy yell. That's messed up. He always but. talks too soft anyway. You can't hear him. All right, guys. So we've done a lot of talking so far, but today's been really fun. Testing new wheels is always probably one of my favorite things ever. It's always so exciting. And uh, they look too good. Huge shout out again to Crew Whip Garage. The fact that this website is available is amazing. It's so easy to use, so affordable. The variety is so large. There is so much to choose from. It's honestly so fun just to go on a website and just scroll around and see what they have. I can tell you I spent so many hours on there. So, but of course, check out the selection. Link is in the description of Send RJ a set of wheels because he needs it. And uh, with that, we're gonna end it there. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And be amazing.